Okay folks, instructions on how to set up the Here's Your Sign bike scripts. It's real simple. Let's get started. Since I'm on a time-based deal here and I'm trying to get it all in one video. First thing we're going to do, we're going to put the sitter inside the bike. The sitter, which is a little device that will res when clicked to adjust the driver. Put the driver script in. Main menu, menu, main route script. The bike config card. Real quick, we'll take this change name script, which will change all the script, all the uh, parts on the bike to one name. I'll get to that here in a few, hopefully. Once you got all that done, we'll put the here's your sign bike script version one inside the bike from there we will go to edit link parts edit link parts and we're going to start on the front tire the very front tire the very front tire we'll put the right rim and tire script in the rim we'll put the rear and tire script in the front one and we'll do the same thing for the rear And then we'll put the burnout in in the rear tire. And then we'll go to the rim. And from the rim, we will put the rear tire script in. Once this is done, then we can set up our tires. This is real simple. Simply left click the front tire and it will pull up a menu that says forward. Once you get the forward menu pulled up, left click the front tire rotate the front tire forward just a tad just so it can record its revolution click forward then it'll pull up another menu that says do we wish to do it where it has a left and right turn or none we're going to choose the option none because it don't go left or right it will say ok then we'll come to the back tire and we will choose option 2 which is copy last wheel without left and right it will say OK. Then we will return to the front tire or front rim and we'll, then we'll choose option 3 set wheel differently because this way it may be on a different axis we're not sure yet because every, not every sculpt is always made the same so we're choosing option 3 set wheel differently. Then again the forward menu will pop up we will edit link parts and turn the rim forward just a tad as you can see and then click forward then we'll click none again for not going left or right it will say OK then we will move to the back rim and again choose options to copy last wheel without left or right now once this is done the rims and tires are set up there's no more going back to them now we will simply put the rest of the scripting and stuff needed in for the bike now, since we have all these scripts in here already, all we really have to do is put the dial command script in, which kills the bike if you click through the menu option and option and pick delete. Once the dial command's in, you edit link parts and let's go to the gas tank. Once we're on the gas tank, we will choose the script that's called U Paint. This will, op this will, this will uh, work our paint menu, which I'll show you here in a few. Then we'll go to the headlight. Now the headlight is where the not root menu regular, the not root menu regular will go. That is what actually works the menu of the bike. It has to be on a separate prim, other than the main root of the prim, or main root of the bike. Okay, once that is done, then we can go to the passenger seat. The passenger seat, you'll notice that it has its own note card. It has its own note card. So let's put the passenger seat note card in. Let's put the passenger seat script in. And then we have that part done. Oh, don't forget to put your sitter in there. This bike does not use, these scripts do not use the up, down, left, right, forward, backward menu style uh, menu in order to adjust the avatar to the correct position. It uses the device which reses from the bike and then you edit it 
and then it auto records the last position that the uh, that you edited in for the correct position of where you belong. Sounds cool, huh? Okay, now let's go up here, and we're going. I'm going to type in Bobber because we need some poses for this bike, don't we? And sup, mate, Javin. Let's go to Bobber. Here we go. Now, from we're gonna put in the Bobber Passenger Ride, and we'll go to Bobber Passenger Park, like so. Then we're gonna go inside these scripts, and we're gonna rename rename the ride to Ride, because that's how the scripts are set up. It recognizes these two, and then re, and then rename the Park to Park. Once we get that done, that part of the bike is complete until you get ready to adjust it, which I'll show you how to do it here momentarily. Now we'll go here and we'll put in the bobber ride, the bobber idle, and the bobber park. Once we got them in, we're going to go back to our scripts. And make sure we got everything in that we need. As you notice, I did not put a belt script in at the moment because that belt's all one prim with the back pulley piece. So therefore, it won't be turning and have an animation. Also, I didn't put the tire smoke in. It's simply just a little ball you put on the back of the pipe. And it produces smoke for the exhaust. Cool. All right, now, now that we got all this nice little jifty jifty stuff done, let's go over here once again. Let's rename ride to ride. Let's rename park to park. Let's rename idle to idle. Okay, now. I'm going to show you the note card inside here real quick. There's a note card. It's called Bike Config. This is where you're going to do all your all your nice little adjustments and stuff like that that you that you want to do for your bike. Fairly simple. You got the four gear setups, the reverse power setups, the lean factor, sit position, sit rotation, your sit pose, which is idle, ride, park, like we have inside our inside our. Uh, Contents. You don't really have to touch these. I I advise just leave them alone and just rename your inside your here uh, inside your uh, contents to auto riding park. That way there's no goof ups. Then non owner message. Get off my shit. Which you can change, of course. Your bank power that does your banking. Turn power does your turn. Turn speed does your your speed turn adjustment. Your lean factors factors is how far the bike leans into the uh, corners and such which can be adjusted by the lean options in the menu which is less lean and more lean cool eh? now the sounds down here on the sounds I don't recently have any sounds real quick let me pull up a config card real quick so I can get some sounds out of here uh, I see here I should have one down here should have got some sounds in it maybe yes it's got some sounds in it sweet let me steal these sounds right here okay and see, because they're all done by UID. Let me show you here. We're just going to copy these old these old sounds that I had. And see, they're all done in UID format. Kind of cool, huh? Now we're going to save this and proceed with the first part. You're going to love this, folks. I mean, this is just how easy it is to set up. Here in a minute, you'll see a little spot over here that will say configuration done. Oh, we should. There it is. Done reading configuration. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to click the bike. We're going to click next. And you'll see a spot that says paint, adjust rider. There, hey, there's bigger and smaller. That makes the bike bigger and smaller. You got your park and your unpark for your park position when you're sitting still. And then you have your le le less lean and more lean, which gives you the actual lean going to the corners, how far, how you, how far you want it to affect. And adjust driver. Let's go ahead and let me go ahead and back up a little bit so we can see. Let's close this inventory piece. Get to where we can see a little bit. And let's adjust the driver. 
you see there's a little ball that pops out you know you can make that into anything you want I use a wrench for my for my uh, set adjustment but you can use whatever you want um, a helmet uh, skull crossbone whatever tire <laughs> but anyway let's go ahead and sit let me back up a little bit so we can see what's going on let's go ahead and sit on the ball it's gonna ask you to animate your avatar okay so we're gonna animate our avatar and then all you gotta do it's real simple folks simply just edit yourself to your hands fit properly Let's go up here to where they fit properly on the handlebars. That looks pretty close, right? I may not have used the right pose, but you know, this is just basically just teach you how to run them and such forth like that. Once you're done editing, simply stand up. Now, folks, you're not really going to believe this, but this bike's ready to ride. With the exception, I want to show you how to adjust the rider real quick. I know the ball rears up when you sit adjust rider and you simply click yes to animate. And look at there, you know what? That's pretty close for what we're going to do for right now. I mean, this is basically a demo on how to use the scripts and how easy they are to use. So we're not really going to go into a whole bunch of detail because I don't have a whole lot of time. Now I'm going to stand up and watch this. I'm going to sit down on this bike. Hey, buddy. What sounds good, don't it? Hey, we're riding. You just can't beat that, can you? pretty dang cool huh hey it only took what about five minutes to set it up total now let's go to something else here real quick so I can show you let me spin around I'm gonna try to get all this in one video so I'm trying to do this kind of quick we're gonna click the bike watch this bigger see how it's going up is that not just too cool And it's not had, and the, and the bike does not have all them scripts, such as Cat and Karen scripts, that are dispersed out all over the bike to do this and do that. All my stuff is less scripts, less lag. That's the main deal. Now let's go over here and go to paint. This is the fun part. Oh wow, we got another menu when we hit paint. It says authorize, deauthorize, and paint. The authorize is where you could show, or you could have somebody else paint your bike. I'm going to go over here and pick a simple cut texture real quick. I'm going to name it. It's called Flame. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to get a little simple texture. There's one right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the asset UUID. I'm copying the asset UUID. Now I'm going to come over here and click this little menu or this, this button on the menu that says Paint. Oh, I forgot to name them. This is the part where you, we, I get to teach you how to name your parts. You notice there's an asterisk up there. Okay. Now, the reason why we put that uh, change name is because the bike will not recognize anything to do with the asterisk. So now we're going to go tank and let's go fender and let's go oil tank. Now, all of them are named and we go to paint and click paint again. Wow, look at this. We got all these. You got three options to paint. Cool, huh? Now, all we do is simply click tank. And then up here you'll see now say the UID of the texture for the tank on channel 6. So we go down here in our little chat bar, type in backslash 6 and hit control V because we already copied the UID. And we hit enter. Now when we hit enter, it'll say tank whispers done painting. And looky there. We change the red to a flame texture. Folks, that's just how easy it is to set up the scripts. Hope you enjoyed the video. My name is DJ Snoop Snoodle, and this is Here's Your Sign, Bite Scripts, version 1. I'm going to ride out. Peace, folks.